guys, Yvette here, and I am the Witch of Willow Creek. Welcome to my channel. And today is a look at the week ahead. Okay. Let's see what the week ahead has in store for us. I hope everybody had an awesome week. And if you had a hard time, just know this too shall pass. Let's see what the week ahead has in store for us. One more time. We have the Seven of Swords. And, and they're all chained up here. Here we go. Seven of Swords. Okay. I, I feel like some of y'all are feeling bound to something like you feel like you have no choice but to stick it through whatever commitment you're in whatever promise you made you, you feel like you have to see it through like you, you feel stuck you feel bound to your decision or to a, or to a person some person somebody who you feel like oh i, I want to owe it to them you know that those just flew right out. King of Pentacles in reverse. And the sun. Okay. So yes, yeah, so somebody is making you feel like you owe them something. They're making you feel bound to them like, well, you know, I did this for you now, you know, and not so many words, but kind of alluding to the fact that they did this thing for you. And so now you owe them. And the thing is, is that you don't owe anybody anything, you know. Um, you feel bound to this person and this person is just like, they, they might have lent you money. And if you've already paid them back, that's enough. If you've already paid them back, that's that's enough. You don't owe them anything else. And some people just take it to the extreme once they do something for you, you know. But that's okay. You, uh, and if you haven't paid them back, pay them back as fast as you can. Because it's 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 weighing on you. It's, it's obviously weighing on you. Two of Wands in reverse, yeah. I'm hearing that this person's not really a good friend. Like they come off as as being your friend, or you're not realizing that this is not your friend, you know. A wolf in sheep's clothing is what I'm hearing. Okay, if that means anything to anybody. Well, we have a lot of those happening. So you know what we're going to use for the uh, oracle? We're going to use the new angel blessings that I got. And... Oh, this, this deck's pretty big. I mean, considering the size of my tarot, that's a pretty big, hefty deck.
gets cut. Okay, so what do we need to know moving forward? Like, what do we need? The, something that can help us get past this feeling of being stuck and this feeling of owing somebody something when you've already paid them back and you don't owe them anything. Like a lot of times, you know, you feel guilty for asking for help and you shouldn't, like they shouldn't make you feel that way. If they're your friend, you know, they're always there to help you. There just shouldn't be any reason why they should make you feel like you owe them something. If you've already done everything to repay them back, everything necessary, you just got people who have just become leeches, le leeches and they're just, you know, trying to get bleed you dry, trying to get everything they can from you. Not only because you're nice, uh, because you are actually a nice person, you know. You are actually a nice person, whereas they're just being nice so they can get something else off of you and hold it over your head. If that makes sense. Let's see. This is one card. No, it's two. We have got freedom and power. Yes, you have the power to free yourself from this situation. So if you have not paid them, uh, paid it off, whatever debt that you owe this person, what you, you know pay them just get it out of the way because they're just holding it over your head and making you feel worse even though you've told them that you're going to pay them back and you're trying and you're trying your best to collect whatever it is that you're you know financially trying to you know give them back the money or whatever it is that you're trying to pay them back whatever the deal you made with them you're trying your best to uphold that deal And they're just completely on it all the time. Um, so if I were you, I just pay it out. Now, if you've already done your duty and you've paid them off and you've done, you know, you've uphold, upheld your end of the bargain, they have no reason to hold it over your head anymore. So, and you have the power to free yourself from that whole situation. Just gotta speak up. How do you free yourself from that situation? You speak up. Let's get an affirmation deck. Let's get the affirmation deck and get an affirmation card. Sorry guys, didn't mean to move you. You can even ask these angels to help you with uh, to obtain freedom and to obtain power. Because I, I work with Archangel Michael all the time. This is a daily situation for me and the angel. Okay, um, I invoke him every day because I know how powerful. I say he, but they're neutral. They're gender neutral, so. But I invoked, I invoked, uh, and his name's Michael, so let's just continue with the he. I invoke him every day, so, and like I said, and uh, when I was going through this walkthrough of this deck, and if you want to see the walkthrough, it's in the playlist, it should be in the playlist of walkthroughs. Um, he's really good to invoke for protection, especially, uh, especially when I'm driving, because Y'all already know. I'm surrounded by morons. <laughs> but what affirmation do we need to have to hold us through, to get us through the week? An affirmation to get us through the week.
I have permission. Yes, you do. You have permission to say no. You have permission to say, isn't it? And you only have to give yourself permission to do this because nobody else has to give you the permission to do it but yourself. You have permission to, because like, like, like we said, you have the power. So you have permission to give yourself the power to free yourself from this situation. Tell you if you need to tell them, just, just you know what? I've already did everything that I was supposed to do. I upheld my end of the bargain. You need to just get to stepping because I am not doing this with you. This is not happening. I am taking back my life. You tell them. Anywho's, that is a look at the week ahead, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.